Welcome to my dream game. Hey everyone, welcome to the new series where I'll be creating my dream game using UEFN. My dream game in UEFN will be about a medieval type of fighting game where you try to kill skeletons and bosses and all different types of enemies and try to protect the king and his castle from absolute destruction. So it's kind of like a simulator, you can keep fighting, you can be upgrading, get armor and a bunch of other stuff. Here's what I've done in the game so far. As we saw in that clip, there was a king that we could see but couldn't really do anything with, and there was uh, skeletons that came at you and there was a health bar that basically damaged your castle, but that's all you can really do. You can't fight, you can't really do much, which is what we'll be doing today. First off, before I even started the dream game, I had an idea from this video right here where I made custom enemies. And I thought to myself, hold up, I could make a cool game. With this idea of trying to make a game, I also realized what type of game should it be. But while making the skeletons in the custom enemies video, I realized something. I remember playing a game called Defense Until Death Simulator on Roblox. And I'm going to show a video on it up on the screen and if you see some similarities you can tell where I got those ideas from. So on day one after I already did those previous things that I mentioned before I first started off by adding dialogue to the king and adding a camera so it would focus on the king and what he's saying to make the game feel a little bit more alive. Yeah I definitely didn't try to use AI for the dialogue. Okay, no look at whatever you're looking on the screen that's like not actual real life that's like fake after adding dialogue to the king i decided that the player should be able to get a sword after the player is done with the king's dialogue as we need a weapon so the player can actually fight skeletons and be able to get bones from those skeletons after doing that here is the product of how it is to fight the enemies with the sword After coding it so the player was able to get the sword from the king after the dialogue, I decided to actually fix a system already made which was a bone currency system and right now it didn't work because I didn't add a tag to the NPC spawner so I decided to do that. After adding the tags to the NPC spawners, I hopped into the game uh, and I tested it out and it worked pretty well uh, and the game was starting to be a little bit more fun so as you can see uh, it works pretty well we can kill skeletons and get bones after making that happen with the player being able to get a sword and getting bones I decided that the player shouldn't be able to enter the place uh, to fight enemies if they don't already talk to the king first and finish that dialogue and that's what i did for this part here after adding the barrier device i decided that i'm gonna add a volume device to check when the player enters the zone to fight enemies because i don't like it that the enemies keep spawning even though you haven't entered the place to fight them at all so you could be dying while you're talking to the king and that's what I did for this part here. After adding the volume device so the player could fight the enemies when they wanted to, I decided that the player isn't going to know to immediately enter there. So I decided to add a billboard device and allow it so the player could know, oh wait, I need to go through here to start the game. Alright, that's it for day one. And everyone's probably wondering what are we going to do next time? on the dream game so next time what i want it is that there's a guy okay and it will be able to you'll be able to sell your let's say your bones okay i know that's a really bad bone and eventually later on there'll be other enemies so you could buy you could sell uh things like i don't know some 
rotten flesh from zombies or something. I don't know. And then there'll be another guy, which will be like a, a, a weapon guy, a weapon smith. And this is where you can buy uh, better weapons and stuff. And then maybe eventually, uh, what I'm hoping for will be another guy, like a wizard type of guy, right, or something. And you can upgrade yourself like with more damage or more strength. So that's it for what I want for next time. And if you have any sort of suggestions for what I should add to this game, or if you have any criticisms of this game, I would gladly take that and improve this game to what it could be, to the best it could be. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodcraft is about inspiration and learning.